Hey folks, welcome back. This is Nate from FinchProServices.com. This section, second section is actually on adding a little bit of functionality and deepening your understanding of what's going on with WordPress. We've talked about some basic things like setting up posts, setting up pages, and we're going to dive in a little bit more. And again, part of the goal of this is that you'll become um, self-referencing and self-educating. So one of the things that we're going to look at here is something that's uh, often overlooked, but something that's really quite essential for um, taking your WordPress skills to the next level. So I'm in the menu option, or in the menu tab here under appearance on the left hand side, and we can see that we're in menus here. What I'm going to look at right now is uh, these two things up here, uh, these two tabs, the screen options and the help uh, tab here. I'm just going to show you what these do really quick. These are actually especially helpful in uh, the posts uh, category here, but I'll, I'll show you uh, what they do. So if you just click on these, you'll see that this drops down, and you see that there are different tick boxes here for different types of um, things to display uh, on the page here. So again, this is screen options, and you want, and you're looking under here on like show on screen, and you can actually, you know, we've talked about how to do menus uh, here before that you can make menus out of pages and then you can make menus out of categories and make um, uh, what do I want to call this <laughs> um, kind of custom links and everything to put on your uh, your main menu structure here so these are all checked you can see uh, the, the links categories and pages and so there are also options for posts and you can see that as you click on that it adds straight away uh, this post right so you can do it by post title here and you can also add in tags and format if you're doing this as well. So there's a lot of different things that this screen options tag or sorry drop down menu will allow you to do based on the uh, page and category that you're on. So let's look over here at posts, right? You can still see the screen options tab here and you see that there there's a title, column and author, categories, tags, etc. Um, so if you drop this down here, you see that all of these are checked. Let's say that you don't really care who the author is or don't care to see that necessarily. Um, so you can just uncheck that and then you don't have to worry about it being there and showing up. One of the things that we'll talk about later uh, is plugins getting installed. And a lot of times plugins will add uh, functionality, but they'll also add columns and categories in your post section here. So there's going to be two plugins that we'll talk about. Uh, and they're SEO plugins, so they're going to be plugins that you probably want to use. One is called uh, WordPress SEO, and the other one is called All-in-One SEO. And they will add top-level menu items here. And so what can happen is that the rest of these columns get kind of scrunched up as you start adding an extra five columns in here. Uh, you can imagine that these all get kind of scrunched up, and so it gets harder to read. So you can come here to the screen options and drop that down and uncheck or check whatever you want. So the next thing we're going to chat about real quick here is the help menu. Uh, help menu is pretty self-explanatory, but basically one of the things that people can do and WordPress has built in is just kind of self-referencing support forums and documentation on, in this case, managing posts. So you're on the post page, you have questions about that. Um, what you can do is go to the help menu and get an overview and you can see that you know this screen provides access to all of your posts. You can customize the display of this screen to suit your workflow. You can come down and see what all these things are. This, er, all of these are, the help menu is on every single window, I'm pretty sure, uh, every single window that you could p p potentially open in WordPress. So you can see that uh, it's on the menus page here and it's going to be different. Menu management, editing menus, this is a add new post and it's going to talk about customizing the display, inserting media, all sorts of stuff. So if you ever have any questions and you're in the back end of WordPress, uh, the help drop down menu here is going to be extremely helpful for you um, there so you can have quick references to things that you might need. So again, this is just a look at these two drop downs, screen options, and the help menu. If you have any questions about this, how to use these, um, maybe where to find some other stuff, you know, there's going to be more, but go ahead and get in and play around with these and see what, you know, see what different options they afford you.